Hi there my friend, welcome back to this channel. This is where I talk about music production, the gear I use to create my tracks around here, and other general nerdy stuff. Today we are going to try to get out of that 8 or 4 bar loop and uh, I'm going to give you some pointers or helpful tips. Getting stuck in this loop is something we all do, especially if you have been working all day and you're tired and I mean, you don't really know, okay, where is this going? You know, so you just play it and you loop it and it sounds kind of nice. But you know, where where do you go from here? And may maybe you don't even know what type of track you are going to make. Are you going to make a, a trance track? Are you going to make a house track or, you go or something else? What I would recommend to do is just try to decide what type of track you are going for. You should finish the track, even if you don't really like it. You've, you just should should just get into the habit of kind of finishing the track, getting it ready, putting it behind you, going for the next one. Because this operation will make you get better in music production. Even if you don't think so, even if the track sounds really bad, it will actually help you. So try to decide what type of track you are going to make. And for this track, I want to make a trance track, but it could be something else as, as well. So making a trance track. So what do we need here? We want some kind of an intro, some middle part maybe, and something. Okay, so you you don't really you don't really know how you want to structure the track. So that's why you want something called a reference track. So this is where you want to listen now. You want to take a track that are professionally produced, that are on, for, for example, Spotify or somewhere else, and you want to compare the arrangement. Of that track with your track or use it as an inspiration to arrange your own track so i can show you a little bit on how you can do that first of all find the track and you can do that on for example spotify so you go here on spotify find the track you want to use as a reference track and you can just play it back here so you play back the track in Spotify. I won't do that on this video because it will trigger a copyright thing. So you play back the track on Spotify here and you play it through and you compare with your own track here and you try to make it or try to arrange it in that way, you know, use it as an inspiration. That's one way of doing it. You also have to make sure that I can go on Spotify actually and take one of my own tracks because that won't copyright things here. So one of my popular tracks here is called Gas apparently. So I play it back. Okay. So what you have to do now, you have to adjust the volume on this track so it matches the volume on your production here. Okay, so this was a little bit loud. Lower the volume a little bit. So you want to try to uh, try to match the volume with uh, Spotify, the reference track and Ableton Live. So when you have the volume match, you can switch back and forth and you can just try to arrange your track in your own way, not just copy the track, but just arrange it in your own way and use the reference track as a, as a guide. Another thing you can do is you can record the reference track in, for example, Audacity. I can't go into that in this video, how you do that, but you can record from Spotify and record it into, for example, this audio editor, and you want to drag that track into your session. So what you can do is you can do it like this. You take your reference track, and you drag it into Ableton Live like so. You have to just wait a little bit until it loads. Here you have the track. You see the waveform and everything. And you can kind of see where the intro are, where the a breakdown are, the middle part and ending. Remember that when you drag something into Ableton Live, you have to double click on the wave file and you have to turn off warp it will just warp the audio to your tracks BPM and that will just mess up the audio. And another important thing is you have, this is something you have really have to look at. So if I solo this, how to make trans five track, by the way, that's a video on my channel. Take a look at it if you want. And if I go to m my master fader here, if I just play back the reference track now, 
you see that it goes through my master fader plugins here. You don't want that because this is already a reference track. It's already mastered and everything. And you don't want you don't want your plugins to affect it. So what you have to do is you have to go to Ableton Live here, and on output here where it says master, you have to set it to uh, something else. For example, external out. Then it would just go straight uh, besides Ableton Live and just sh uh, straight out to your speakers. And if I take a look here now at, at Fab Filter here, there is no audio coming from the reference track. So now you have set it up correctly. And now it's about adjusting the volume on the reference track and the uh, track you are working on. So what we can do now, okay, we can think that, okay, this is kind of a middle part. So we just drag it here somewhere or, or um, let's, let's say here. Okay, that. Oops, let's uh, take everything. <laughs> this is just showing it how you are doing it, right? It's it's not like I'm literally doing this now as I'm recording this YouTube video. Okay, so don't kill me if I do anything wrong. That's what the comment sections are for, because we can't dislike the videos anymore. Okay, that's a little bit loud. So let's reduce the volume on this reference track, like so. Okay, so I think the volume uh, is uh, kind of uh, in the ballpark. Don't don't have to be hundred percent exact. So now we have a track here on the bottom. You see the waveform. I guess you can understand somewhere where in the waveform the specific parts are. So what do we do now? Well, we will try to kind of mimic this. So here we have an intro. Let's play it back. Okay, but we don't want really that that kind of intro. But we we want we want to try to make an intro out of uh, what we have here. So let's just copy some MIDI data to the start here. So this is a one note thing. So we're just playing one note. So this is a Mog external synthesizer. So we just you see what I'm doing here now. A few minutes ago, you didn't really know what to do. Now you are actually doing something. This is kind of the thing because you're just forcing yourself to just do it. And this will give you inspiration while you are doing it as well. You're kind of forcing yourself of, of doing something and you're using <clears throat> the reference track as a guide. So a reference track can be used for different things. It can also be used for mixing, you know, but we are not using a reference track for that today. We are just thinking about arrangements. Okay, so here we are, have something as a kind of intro. We can uh, do some changes to the, for example, automation here, the silent at least. And on a uh, external instrument, I could use actually the plugin, the editor here. I can use that. Come on. And filter cutoff on the mog. So how does the reference track sound? Okay. Maybe we want something, maybe we want a four bar loop or kick on each. This does not sound that good, but uh, it's don't say that to yourself because this will just make you, it can make you hate. <laughs> 
hate this song in the in the end. Just try to make something. Like something like this. Maybe like this. Okay, I just came up with that right now while I'm recording this video, you know? You're just just forcing yourself to do something, okay? Don't really don't really think about mixing, don't really think about that much about sound selection. You just want to to build something. Okay, maybe we want a crush somewhere. We want it there, the drum loop somewhere. Yeah, we actually want it there. So not there. And what else can we do? Well, we can, what's this? Let's listen. Yeah, we need that one. So, I know this is going to sound a little bit repetitive, but the thing is, is just to try to get it laid out and try to not think that much, okay? You can always change things afterwards, but it's getting here and doing things, they are, it's, it's difficult to just get going. And this is the point of kind of this thing here. So now you see, you know, now we have made the intro here. I'm not sure how it really sounds, but we can take a listen. But you have something to, I mean, refine, you have something to tweak on. And uh, 30 minutes ago, you just had a 4 or 8 bar loop. I mean, you you can just build it up, you know. You know, I guess you can see where this where this is going, and then we have can make well, we can make a breakdown here, you know. So something like that. Introduce another bass, and then we can get to our four bar loop. So. That's basically what I wanted to tell you today. I don't want to make this video. It's probably long enough already. I thought I could make it under five minutes, but I think it's uh, probably going to be over 10 minutes. My point is try to decide what you want to do with your track and try to get help somewhere. Use a reference track and uh, there's nothing wrong with using a reference track. You're not copying the track. Think about if you want to paint a landscape, you want to know what a landscape has. That's really the point of there's like a million landscape pictures out there or photos or whatever. So what does a landscape photo have? That's the question. It has a sky. It has maybe some mountains. It maybe has some grass, maybe some water. Maybe there is a deer somewhere. Maybe there are some birds or something. Uh, maybe there is a kind of special effect like an uh, aurora. Nordic lights or I mean it's just the ingredients and where they are placed and you decide what the ingredients are um, I hope this video helped in some way try to to not think that much don't don't care don't, if you did listen to to this it didn't sound that good just don't care about that just try to get it laid out first just get it laid out and you can go back later to change the samples and to kind of change up the sound and then you can also maybe use the reference track for your mixing this will hopefully 
get you going and i really hope it's helped you if this helped you you're welcome to click the like button or something like that i don't know it's it's youtube you do whatever you want thank you for watching at least <laughs> and i talk to you in another video take care and uh, goodbye